All right, man, seriously, where does one even start for this character? He is probably the most complete character in this entire roster at the moment. Let's just start by going through the normal attacks that you want to memorize. He has the one to one which is a great hit confirmable option. To complement that strength, he has the Haymaker, which is one full complete strength and you'll get a hard knockdown. Or he also has the Flash Kick, which will launch the opponent up. You can't follow up with anything, but you still have that option if you have a cameo, of course. So the Haymaker is minus six on block. You can see right there. But the Flash Kick is actually minus 14, so that's unsafe. You'll get punished if you throw that out. Noob also has this Darkness Fall String, which is actually an overhead, and it's plus one on block. So that's going to be a great option to keep that offense going. However, of course, there is an Armored Gap, so you got to be careful. Moving on, man, he has the Evil Twin String, which is forward one, two, two. That's three mids in that combo string. And of course, the first two buttons are going to be a great way to hit confirm. And that last hit will just put you minus seven. So if you want to let the whole string rock, you definitely can because you'll be safe unless you go up against a character with a six frame normal. Now to complement that, he also has the Cybot Blast, which is forward one, three, one. But the forward one, three is actually a mid into a low. So that's a mix up option. So we have the forward one, two, two. You can see that's going to leave you minus seven. We have the forward one, three, one. That's going to leave you minus five. And then just if we stagger the forward one, three, you can see that's minus seven. Moving on, we have a shadow clap, which is two, one. You can see it's a mid into a high. And then the two, one, two is actually a mid high into a low and then the complete string the shadow palm is two one two one you can see we get a hard knockdown mid then a compliment that we have is two one four and that's gonna be an overhead launcher so now the opponent has to make that reaction are you gonna go overhead or are you just gonna go with that low string and then hit confirm into a special move and now closing in on his most important normal attacks we have the grave digger which is back three three and that's actually a low starting normal into a mid so that's a great way to hit confirm as well and then the full string is back three three four and you can see you just get a kick a little spinning kick and then his four four three is a high into overhead into a pop-up and all of these options leave you minus seven on block so it's really damn good now with that being said these combos listed right here take a screenshot these are the combos that you want to memorize and that you want to understand because these are how you're going to be able to do those combos these combo strings specifically will allow you to special cancel into special moves into cameo assists whatever it may be so you have to memorize these right here so with any of these strings you can see we're able to special cancel right into it we can use this string go with that low right into it so starting with sub zero we know he has that iced out assist so we can use that it's forward r1 now we can connect that off of his grave digger string just like that now once we get them frozen in place we can use any string that i showed you before so we'll use the black mace which is four four and then go right into that telly slam so the most basic combo you can do looks just like this right into telly slam right simple so noob also has the shadow slicer it's a spinning kick from the shadow himself and he launches up the opponent so anytime we get that confirm off the back three three we can go into back three three again and then connect into that shadow slicer now with that shadow strike string this is actually going to give you decent range so you'll be able to connect after that shadow slicer so right now you're going to connect like this back three three we're going to dash forward and then connect the forward one two that shadow strike and we already know we have that telly slam to end it so here we go going to teleport just like that man there's your basic combo but now if we decide we want to amplify that telly slam you definitely can just like that and he's going to send him through another portal and it pops them back up for you to continue the combo so as they release from that portal we're going to jump up with the cybot dervish string and that's two three four it's his aerial combo attack so right now we have something like this get ready jump up just like that it's so quick and that's gonna launch them back up and now we can just finish with that regular telly slam there we go jump up just like that man now once you get the hang of that you can just start throwing the normal strings that i showed you all together because they'll all work the same way as long as you structure them properly so if we happen to start that combo with the 4-4 we can still get the same combo as long as we connect the exact same way we already know you can see we get 36% right there. We can even use that abysmal hook string. Again, that's a low mix up. Now we have the same combo, but this time we're going to end with his down back forward dive kick. Now with Ferra, of course, we have that overhead launcher that we can use after our combo strings. So with that 4-4 string, we go into Ferra, we dash in, 4-4 again into the shadow tackle. Just like that, back forward three. So now if you just throw all of those concepts together, you can do stuff like this. 
Call them in, right? 39%. One bar. Super easy, man. Now, before we move on to the most important part in Noob's kit, we have his Ghost Ball. Anytime they're glowing green, we just input that same special move and we get a launcher. So if we happen to get this on them, and now we get a full combo, you can see... You get combos that way, so it's pretty cool. Okay, but here's where Noob Saibot breaks the goddamn game, okay? He has the Embrace Chaos special move, and that's forward, down, back, one. He will bring out the hand that he keeps on his belt, squeeze it, whatever, and he activates a game-breaking mechanic. So any special move that Noob Saibot has in his kit will now become a launcher without the use of meter. So if I do the Running Man, he will send him through a portal. If I do his down back four, he sends him through a portal. If I do his down back three, he sends him through a portal. If I do his slide, he will go through a goddamn portal. Even his dive kick will send him through a portal. So pretty much 90% of his special moves are now launchers without the use of meter. It's crazy. So now after any combo shrink, you just want to go into a move that is going to launch them for free. So we can do that night rain into the shadow sweep, and we just got ourselves a free launcher. So now if we follow that same structure from before, we jump up with the aerial combo attack, we can get that launcher right there, or we can go into that dive kick, and with that dive kick, he's also going to send them through a portal once again, so the combo continues. So now you can get really creative with how your combos work, because they almost feel unlimited. As long as they send them through that portal, you can just have fun with it, man. You can just continue them. Now, one thing to note is anytime you use a special move with that portal feature and you go back into that same special move, it will not send them through another portal. That special move will return to its original properties, but you can use other special moves to keep the combo going. So if we do something like this, let's send the running man after him. See what I'm saying? See how crazy that is? That's meterless, by the way. So you can just be really creative with this combos, man. And that's why I think this is too sick. Like, that's so... It's such a unique take on the character. And honestly, it might be the best version of Noob Saibot yet. And when you really start to get creative, man, our minds will just take over. Freestyling. Like, that's so wild to me, man. It's such an unbelievable character design. I can't emphasize that enough. But I know that's probably a lot to take in for right now, so we'll call it right there. But I appreciate you guys watching, man. I hope this video was useful in some way. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.